Okay, we are here with Michael Bobby Fisher Hathaway playing against Isaiah Gary Kasparov Davis in a chess match, also talking about some love of football. Fellas, let's do this. You would be the Russian. So Hathaway, we were talking about how you are the chess master right. um, with all your play calling. Oh, you're knocking pieces down yeah. here. How quick do you go? Yeah, yeah chess master. So chess master, you call these great plays, these trick plays, scripting plays. The, right. what, what, how's your week go setting up these plays you're going to call? Well, you get to start by watching the other team on defense and finding out how their personnel lines up and how their, how their front lines up and then kind of their coverages. So I want you to learn that and kind of figure out their stuff. You can kind of look at what you want to run. You're going to keep playing. Oh, I got to keep playing. Keep playing. All right, here we go. Um, so I guess my question is, as you're doing that, this isn't going to go well. I know, I'm playing really right, well. I don't even yeah. know what I'm doing anymore. As I'm doing I'm, that, it's yeah. out of control. Okay, so as you're like, how much of your play calling is based on the strengths of your team? Oh, my God. Uh, what just happened there? <laughs> how much of your plays are based on the strength of your team? And how much are on the weakness of your opponent? Like um, I would say uh, uh, most of it is based on the strength of our team. You try to figure out what your guys do well so that, uh -oh. um, this is you know, you can use that against the defense. So, you know, step one is, is you know, how do I want to, how do I want to move my guys around the board? And step two is, uh, you know, where are the weaknesses in the defense that maybe we can find to best do that? Okay. Um, what now? You're getting ready for Kate. Yes. How's your preparation for this? Is toughest opponent you guys have had? Yes. Uh, yeah, they're they're tough. The quarterback is really good. Uh, they have uh, you know Matt Laughlin, who's one of the more uh, probably dynamic players in the league. He's kind of a oh, uh, it's like slot receiver, running back, like return guy all over the field. So uh, getting ready for that for our defense is pretty tough and. Uh, then, you know, for our offense, uh, you know, they're pretty sound all over the field. So there's not a lot of weaknesses over on that other side to attack. So, um, you know, and they're well schemed. They're well coached. G is it my turn? Yes, I believe it is your turn. Um, you guys, are, there's a little bit of strategy here in the fact that you've got different quarterbacks everywhere, right? Yes. Like, oh, God. Good how one. does that work? Uh, well, um, oh... A couple things. Uh, one would be that you got to play the hot hand, right? So, like, whoever looks good in practice that week, if they're throwing the ball better, they might get more throws that week. But you're always going to play both of them, right? So one of them's going to start. One of them's going to come in the next series. And, and then from there, we're just going to kind of, you know, move around. We try to use their strengths, but it's pretty much the whole playbook is wide open when they're both in. So Okay. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. That's not what I counted on at all. Um... <laughs> Oh, so when I now, as you're the chess master calling yeah. these plays, who is calling the plays for the defense on the other side? Uh, so Coach Bonavie and Coach Gray uh, have to do that. Coach Gray is kind of – Coach Bonavie in charge of, like, the whole thing, and then Coach Gray is more of – I should have took your, your – you just moved my knight, dude. Oh, did I? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you with the black pieces. <laughs> uh, uh, Coach Bonavie and Coach Gray. So Coach Bonavie kind of in charge of the whole thing, and then Coach Gray is – uh, more or less in charge of like calling the blitzes and the fronts for the defensive line. And so would you say that Gray is playing chess or would you say he's playing checkers? Uh, they're all playing chess, man. I, I know that Gray probably gets the reputation as a checkers type of guy. Uh -huh. uh, but, but in uh, fact, yeah, no, on, on game day, calling defenses, he and Bonavie are playing chess for sure. Okay. And um, what else do we want to talk about? So you scripted some plays last week, Yes, right? we did. Do you, where are you sitting when it comes that to the too. scripting this week? Do you know? Uh, so we kind of start with a, just a general playlist and then we kind of look at those plays on Monday and Tuesday. And then after Tuesday, we decide which plays we want to script for Wednesday because we only get one segment of team offense on Wednesdays. Okay. So we're in the process today of narrowing. Today is Wednesday. In case yes. people... So we are narrowing down from Monday and Tuesday what we specifically want to run. We have 30 minutes of offense today, which probably be 40 much to the dismay of the defensive coaches uh but uh you, you got to kind of narrow down at that point and then that helps us decide for thursday what we want and then based on thursday that's what goes into friday okay and you need to make a decision right now right. um so my next question is i guess you have your plans ahead of time but you also correct. you guys are filming the game you've got people on ipads on the sideline correct how much of your plan for the week and your strategy is changing during the game due to that 
Uh, quite a bit, actually, quite a bit. The uh, There's definitely an element of, uh, you know, using those iPads to, uh, what do I want to do here? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the chess Stop. master stops. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go like that. Uh, there's definitely an element of looking at the iPads and kind of seeing what's going on during the game so that you can adjust some things because that's a better look uh, just at, at things usually than, um, you know, just what you see live, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and so, then there's a lot of communication between the players. That's what I'm wondering. Who's, who do you have watching that? Oh, I just lost. Yep. Um, <laughs> oh. So. I felt like I was doing good. Look how many pieces yeah. I had. I felt so, like, uh, like he set you up for that. Like, I know, you fell I know. For it, I, you, right? I so, into it. All right, so let's uh, Jim, football Jim discussion. Jim Deese and uh, Drew Levitt are kind of the iPad. Wes Seroy's like, those are the three iPad guys on the sideline. And then we have one iPad in the, in the booth with Coach County. Uh, so those guys are watching replays like in between series, right? So when we're on defense, County's watching offense. When we're on offense, Thies is watching defense. And then Drew and Wes are kind of moving around the sideline, handing iPads to coaches, showing them things uh, that they see. So it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good process. But I, I would say we rely more on communication from the players too, what they bring back from the field. Um, you know, obviously they're the ones out there. So all right, so pretty reliable. Couple, two more questions. We'll wrap this up. One is about trick plays. Like okay. I don't know if you called this a trick play or if I was just was bad. That at chess. was you just exposing. I just, your, I don't know what I was game. doing there. Put but, yourself right in check. But you've used trick plays quite a bit. Yeah, uh, we have you had like the yeah, double yeah. pass. You yeah. had that play where like uh, nobody was moving this week. The freeze play. Yes. Yeah, talk about that. Uh, nobody moves. That's all it is. You hand the ball off and nobody moves, and the lineman kind of say to the defense like, "Whoa, there's not a play here. What are you doing?" And uh, we hope that nobody plays it. And yeah, we got like 16 yards out of it the other night. So. That was all right. Situationally, are you comfortable using those trick plays like in a tie game or do you bust them out a little more when things are comfortable? Uh, by the time we get to Thursday, like we know if it's something we're pretty comfortable with. So if we're comfortable with using it, you know, the down and distance really doesn't apply. It's more the situation, the flow of the game. Like you're, you're just kind of looking, you know, gut feeling on the right spot usually on those things. All right. Thank you. Uh, last question before oh, we yeah, go. Yeah. Me and Chip and Ventura are going to be up there. High in the, the sky. Filming the game. Yeah. Can you give us anything in particular we should be looking for this week? Uh, like, we, how are we going to know things are going well for you versus, you know, poorly for you? If things are going well, we're tackling well. Like, okay. we got to get a lot of guys around the ball. Their two best players are pretty dynamic and pretty good. So uh, you have to get a lot of guys around the ball, and hopefully we create a few turnovers. Typically, if we're creating turnovers, that's pretty good. So I would say they are on defense, and then – uh, you know, on offense, if the quarterbacks are throwing pretty well, that, that's a good sign. That helps. It, we're tough to stop when they throw well. So. Excellent. Well, good luck. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys.